to the course Introduction to Urban Planning. In this session today, we are going to cover different types and level of plans. We have earlier covered conceptual understanding of urbanization and also looked into the need and objectives of urban planning and the duties and powers bestowed upon the urban local bodies through Constitution of India. We have discussed that in order to deal with the problems of the cities, the urban management authorities need power, they need defined roles and responsibilities, tools, procedure and methods, time, finances, human resource, and information to make the desired changes to happen on ground. The major tool inclusive of the procedure and the methods for planners is the plan. Plan is a draft document which provides the intent and a detailed proposal for doing or achieving something within a time frame in advance. So in this session, we are going to see the different types and level of plans which are prepared in the domain. Accordingly, the coverage of the session will include types of plan, purpose, time frame and examples, interrelationship among various plans, levels of planning followed in India. The expected learning outcomes of this session include that after completion of this session, you should be able to identify and name different types of plan, discuss its purpose, time frame and support with examples. You should be able to explain the interrelationship among various plans. You should be able to list various level of planning in India. So looking at the range of plans, each country, territory has evolved its own system of plan preparation according to their context, specific needs, traditions, and legal arrangements. In the URDPFI guidelines of 2015, based on the stakeholders' consultation, planning system frameworks are recommended according to the hierarchy, like in which order does the plan comes among all the plans, uh, the spatial extent, how much planning area does the plan cover, Scale of planning, like what is the scale of planning, like large scale or small scale. Further, we see it includes uh, type. Type also depends on the details provided in the plan. Does the plan cover broader aspect with the lesser details or specific aspect with extensive details? Similarly, it also depends on the functions and their speciality the plan captures. What specific function and the area of study does the plan cover that all determines the nature of planning? Accordingly, in the URDPFI guidelines, as we can see in the table taken from the guidelines, four core interdependent plan types have been identified, including perspective plan with vision and policy orientation, regional plan with optimization of regional resources for development, development plan for comprehensive long-term settlement plan for urban and peri-urban areas, local area plan with the framework of development plan. Each are presented with its scope and purpose, time frame and indicative list of plans. Further, in the guidelines, as we can see in the table, three specific and investment plan types are identified, including Special purpose plan, which is a rolling special purpose plan for special area within the framework of development plan. Annual plan to translate the physical and fiscal resource requirement of development or the local area plan. Project and research to focus on items of execution. Each are indicated with its scope and purpose, time frame and indicative list of plans. Now let us look into the purpose time frame and examples of each one of them in brief. For better understanding, later in this module, we shall cover each type in detail with support of one detailed case study. Let us now look at the perspective plan. Perspective plan majorly frames the vision through the collective decision-making process for the region-based 
on regional assessment of resources, potential challenges and aspirations. Having a goal, vision for future is very important for the nation, state and the local bodies. Developing a vision is essential for developing policy framework. The vision instructs the policy makers the direction of growth. The process facilitates the identification of potential resources in the planning area. It allows innovations to deal with various thrust areas of the uh, region. It integrates broad level plan with detail plan at different levels. A realistic vision helps policy formulation and preparation of perspective plan. In the country, we see that the perspective plan is prepared by the state for the state development. The perspective plan defines the vision and focuses on the spatio-economic development policy, which means how each area in the state will be economically developed. It frames the strategies and programs towards the intended development of the state according to the resources, potential, challenges and aspiration. To make the perspective plan of a state more instrumental, it is suggested in the guidelines that plan could include state urbanization policy and state land utilization policy. The plan is prepared for the state based on sector-wise resource mapping, analysis and assessment of potential resources, challenges and aspirations. It addresses the long-term policy regarding development of infrastructure and resource mobilization to meet the goals. In the perspective plan, all aspects of development and goals are covered, including the social, economic, environmental and spatial development goals. Therefore, as a student of specific branch, we may find the document more generic and interdisciplinary. Major understanding is about what policies have to be undertaken and priority areas have to be selected and what spatial and financial implication it will have on the state to meet the goals. The purpose of perspective plan is to provide an overall framework which means designing underlying structure which will help us to reach the goal. The document will further act as a guide to prepare the detailed plans. Therefore, the perspective plan serves as a guide for urban local authorities and the regional development authorities in preparation of the regional and development plans. Perspective plan is prepared for 20 to 30 years time frame. The example include the long term perspective vision document, the concept plan or just the mission statement. We can see here that Uttarakhand state has prepared its vision document 2030 for the state where it looks into sustainable livelihood, human development index, social development and environmental sustainability and creates a resource mobilization plan. We can see the example of concept plan through the case of city vision framework document of Napier city in New Zealand. It provides vision, overall strategy, principles, area framework, initiatives, programs and projects. We can see another example of vision statement in the draft Bhopal Development Plan of 2031, where it states that the residents of the city want to make Bhopal best livable city, conserve and protect the eco-sensitive area and heritage and so on. So we see that how the perspective plan provides the direction and framework for achieving it. However, the form and nomenclature may vary. Further, I would like to mention that though in theory the perspective plan prepared in state guides the preparation of regional and development plan, in practice it might be weakened because most of the time perspective plan or the vision document are prepared by the governing body in the state and often do not align with the regional and development planning cycle. Also, the priorities are likely to change with the change in the governing body at the state. Now, let us look at the regional plan. In the URDP Fair Guidelines, it is suggested that for the planned and sustainable development of human settlements, the regional planning approach needs to be promoted. The planning regions, as per the guidelines, are classified under three heads. 
administrative regions which can be district regions or metropolitan regions as per the recommendation of 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment act it can be investment region which can be new investment manufacturing zones industrial and freight corridors special investment regions and so on they can be identified under national acts or policies the region can be special region which are sensitive in terms of environment or socio economic or political aspects now looking at the purpose of the regional plan the purpose of regional plan is to identify the region and regional resources for development within which plans for settlement both urban and rural will be prepared and regulated by district planning committee or metropolitan planning committee the plan period is 20 years and the example include regional plan mobility plan sub regional plan for example we can see here goa regional plan 2021 which is a state level regional plan prepared based on the two district plans of north goa and south goa we are looking at the image of north goa and south goa extracted from the goa regional plan document another example of the region we can see is the integrated district development plan prepared at the district level by the state of kerala we are looking at the image of kollam district taken from integrated district development plan of kollam district kerala likewise we can look at another example which is mumbai metropolitan regional plan 2016 to 2036 prepared by Me mumbai metropolitan authority this regional plan is prepared for metropolitan area we also see examples of regional plan prepared for investment region uh, in this image taken from the website of national in industrial corridor development corporation limited shows various industrial corridors identified for the regional planning we can also see various regional plan identified for eco sensitive zones in the image we can see the eco sensitive zone around Kanger Valley National Park in Chhattisgarh state and eco sensitive zone of Rajaji National Park in Uttarakhand state regional plan is to be comprehensive plan at an appropriate scale plan could be prepared for district or inter district or could be prepared for the investment region or capture the special area the plan should be such that it allows integration of urban nodes with semi urban and rural areas the plan is based on understanding of the characteristic of the region such as flow of people goods knowledge and money some states have comprehensive town and country planning legislation which provides for urban planning and development in a regional perspective beyond the limit of the city and coordinated with the overall framework of economic development priorities and resource availability region identified in the states are to be planned holistically or as sub region for the holistic approach of planning now let us look at the development plan development plan is a statutory plan prepared under relevant act within the framework of an approved perspective plan the purpose of development plan is to prepare a comprehensive development plan for urban areas peri urban areas under the control of development authority or the metropolitan planning committee the development plan provides further the necessary details and intended actions in form of strategies and physical proposals for various policies given in the perspective plan and regional plan depending upon the economic and social needs and aspirations of the people available resources and priorities a development plan is to be prepared for a period of 20 to 30 years the examples include district development plan city metropolitan plan master plan city utility plan revised development plan the proposals of a development plan are definite the proposals are supported by an implementation strategies and evaluation criteria where we can regularly monitor that whether we are meeting our development goals or not further the development plan allows people to learn about the intention of the local authority regarding what they plan to do 
for physical, social and economic development for the place. It informs people of the facilities and the services that are proposed to be provided in the given time frame. The approved development plan allows the local authority to implement development of the land area specified under the plan with the help of local area plans and projects. We shall be reviewing detailed case studies later in this module. We shall now see the local area plan. Local area plan is considered very important because the local area plan encourages decentralization and improves the implementation of the development plan on ground. Local area plan also aligns well with the true principle of 73rd and 74th Constitutional Amendment Act as it disaggregates the planning decisions and implementation of plans and brings the process closer to the people. Local area plans are to be prepared to guide the development or redevelopment of land to allow conservation of buildings and physical features for providing improvements in the physical layout, for making infrastructure and amenities available, and for managing the area to enhance health and safety of the residents, to support economic development and to enhance the quality of living and the environment. Local area plans need to specify the implementation details to comply with the government policies. Local area plans are prepared for 5 to 20 years with intermediate reviews in between. The examples include town planning schemes, zonal plan or subsidy plan, ward committee plan, coastal zone management plan, urban redevelopment plan. We are looking at the number of town planning schemes in Ahmedabad, which contributed in the realization of the goals of the development plan. We are looking at the number of zonal plans inclusive of many urban redevelopment plans in Delhi, which contributed in the realization of goals of master plan 2021. We are looking at the image of what committee plan of Newcastle local municipality, a city in South Africa where strategic directions are indicated and detailed plans are prepared. We are now looking at the example of Coastal Zone Management Plan of Kerala, CZMP report as per the uh, Coastal Regulation Zone Notification 2011. Now we are looking at the case of Jama Masjid Precinct Redevelopment Delhi as an example of urban redevelopment local area plan prepared for Municipal Corporation of Delhi in 2006. The consultant of the project was Pradeep Sachdeva Design Associates. So we saw different types of local area plans. So far we have seen the purpose and case examples of different core plans. Now let us look at the purpose of specific and investment plans. We had seen that there are three types of specific and investment plans. One special purpose plan, second annual plan and the other project and research. Now let us look at the special purpose plan. Special purpose plans are prepared for specific development sectors depending on what is important with respect to economic and environmental scenario. Depending on the urgency of the need, what is urgently needed for the place and people and what priority of the sector like water supply, sanitation, housing of, of the place which require special attention. Special purpose plan for specific subject are accordingly prepared. These plans are also required to be within the framework of regional plan or the development plan or local area plan in the jurisdiction of the local authority so that they work in totality. These plans may also emerge to serve the purpose of urban planning needs under different central and state government grants. Funding schemes such as Smart Cities Mission, Amrut Cities Mission, Ridhe Mission, JNNRUM, Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan and so on. The purpose of special purpose plan is to identify the needs of special area in context which requires special plan within the framework of the development plan. The time period ranges from 5 to 20 years. 
The example of special purpose plan include city development plan undertaken in January, comprehensive mobility plan undertaken in January, city sanitation plan, disaster management plan, slum redevelopment plan, tourism master plan, environmental conservation plan, heritage conservation plan, smart city plan, plan undertaken under Amrut, integrated cluster action plan. Now let us look at annual plan. The purpose of annual plan is to translate development plan in the context of annual physical and fiscal resource requirement and to monitor the plan implementation with performance milestones. We continuously need to check how we are moving towards our development goals. So we uh, look at the investment plan, audit and monitoring plan. An annual plan provides the detail of the new and ongoing projects that the locality that the local authority intends to implement during each financial year for necessary financial resource mobilization to see how the funding is used and from where the funding can be arranged for the ongoing, ongoing project. And for monitoring the performance of the project to see if the project is executed as per the timelines and the expected deliverables are on track. The annual plan is to be prepared by the local authority in each financial year to identify new projects which the authority will undertake for implementation during the year, taking into account the physical and fiscal performance of the preceding year, the priorities, the policies and proposal contained on the approved regional plan, development plan or local area plan. The annual plan is intended to provide the resource requirement during the year and sources of funds including those mobilized by local authority, grant, aids and project or schemes funds by the state and central government. It is thus an important document for the resource mobilization as on the basis of this the plan funds are to be allocated by the funding body. This plan therefore serves as an important link with the budgetary process. Annual plans also provide a mechanism to monitor progress of development plan and various projects. Now let us look at the project and research. The purpose of the project is to focus on project related investments, costing and returns and for the studies required prior to or post plan formulation. So in many cases we need to know whether the project is going to be feasible or not or whether the project is meeting its goal or not, the targeted intentions are met or not. So it is a continuous process to support planning and implementation at all stages and promotes innovation in practice. The time period range from 5 to 20 years. The examples include pre-feasibility and feasibility study, detailed project report DPR, schemes and sub-projects, surveys and studies, project example like riverfront development projects. Projects are derived targets of sequence of plans which focus on items of execution, investment, costing and returns. Conceived within the framework of perspective plan, development plan or any of the plans in the planning system, projects are working layout. They really tell you what has to be done on the ground with all supporting infrastructure and documents including cost, source of funding from where the money will come and the recovery uh, to have the understanding how the money would be recovered, how the investment would be recovered, all necessary details for execution including finance development administrative and management is provided. These projects could be for any area, old or new, any activity or land use like residential, commercial, industrial, recreational, educational or health related or infrastructure development separately or in an integrated manner. For research and development in the field of planning, key surveys to determine statistics, by any agency such as government, semi-government, private or individual, e even individual. 
for any agency prepared by town planners, architects, engineers, as the case may be, enjoying the maximum freedom of expression in their design within the stipulation of development promotion rules and other regulation as applicable. Research, especially for background studies, preceding perspective plan, regional plan, development plan, or even local area plan, formulation may be undertaken as required by state government and local authorities. Specifically, traffic surveys and related studies to collect current statistics are crucial for making decisions in plan formulation. By now, we have seen all types of plan. Let us now see relationship among various plans. We see in the diagram that as per the hierarchy of the plans, the perspective plan comes on the top and the annual plan supports all types of plan at the lower level with extensive monitoring details. The level of details increases with the lowering hierarchy. Projects and research could be done at any level of plan. We also see how they integrate together to attain the national, regional, local goals in a cumulative manner. Now let us look at multiple level of planning in the country. We see multi-level planning in the country. National level sectored come interstate or inter-regional planning. We see state level sectored come inter-district, inter-regional planning. We see district, metropolitan level, regional planning. We see planning at urban level. We see planning at block level. We see planning at panchayat level or the village, which is village level planning. Now, uh, let us look at the national level planning. At the national level planning, commission was the nodal agency responsible for countries planning. The commission used to formulate three types of plans, perspective plan for 15 to 25 years, five-year plans, and annual plans within the framework of five-year plan. Now we have Niti Aayog. The next level seen is the state level planning. The State Planning Board acts like National Planning Commission and coordinates the development plans of different ministries and the districts. It also has the responsibility of the formulation, implementation and monitoring of the state plan. The next level is district level. The district occupies a pivotal position in planning because of its location and administrative advantages. District Planning Committee, DPC, consolidates the plans prepared by the panchayats and municipalities and prepares an integrated development plan for the district as a whole. The next level is urban level, where most of the urban development plans, development plan, uh, local area plan of different types are prepared. The next level is the block level. Block is an important unit of micro level planning planning at a very small level. Block Level Expert Committee, BLEC, is there to prepare plan and consolidate the village level plans. Next level is Panchayat level, where local development plan, integrated village development plan, five-year plan and annual plan are prepared. So summarizing, in today's session, we covered, we saw different types of plan, purpose, time frame and examples. We also saw interrelationship among various plans like how all these types integrate and connect together. We also saw level of planning followed in India. So that was for today. The references used were URDPFI guidelines and the lecture notes uh, from Professor Bishwas. Our coverage was limited with the scope to make you aware of the topic. There are enormous readings and movies available to explore. Few are suggested here. This is not an extensive list. You may feel free to suggest more from your experience. Please feel free to ask questions. Let us know about your concerns you have. Do share your opinion, experiences and suggestions. Looking forward to interacting and co-learning with you while exploring cities and urban planning. So uh, this was it for today. Thank you so much.